be making basics. What's going on YouTube, Be Making Basics, back again with another dope video. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe to us coming back to back with bangers. Today's video, I'm gonna be giving three tips for flipping samples. That's right, three tips. Three things you can do to flip your own samples in Logic Pro 10. Now the first tip is to pitch it, okay? Pitch it up, down, you know, that's the first thing. The second thing is gonna be to uh, reverse it and then the third is to chop it. So we're gonna be doing all three of those in this video. Pitching, um, you know what I'm saying, reversing and chopping. So let's go ahead and talk about pitching. This is the sample. Um, I'm gonna let y'all hear it first and then we'll go over pitching it up and then down and stuff like that. All right, so this is our sample here. In order to pitch it up or down, a super simple way to do that is just to hold down option and push the up or down arrows on your keyboard. So you can kind of actually see the numbers going up here or down as I'm pushing the arrows up and down. So let's just try it out now. Hey, real quick, by the way, did you happen to know that we have something called the Beat Making Master Bundle? Let me show you what's going on with that. Basically, we have all these courses that you can get from beatmakingbasics.com, courses, sound kits, and templates. The Beat Making Master Bundle is going to come with everything on our site. So check this out. If you really want to learn how to take your beats to the next level, go ahead and grab this Beat Making Master Bundle. This comes with everything that we offer, bro. And you're going to get all the updates. So when we drop new courses, sound kits, loop packs, all that type of stuff, templates, you're going to get all of those new drops. Grab it, man. You can go ahead and use Shop Pay and make payments on it, or you can just go ahead and pay for it right now. It's no problem, man. This is everything you'll get in here. Lots of courses. Come on, lots of drum kits. Look at all this stuff, man. Everything on the site. Go ahead and grab that now. Let's go ahead and get back to the video. Now, we talked about the second one, which was reversing it. We're gonna have to throw it into the quick sampler to do that. At least it would be the easiest way to do it, I would say. We'll turn on follow tempo and then come over here to playback and push reverse. And then, you know, pretty much you could just come over here and reverse it. And usually you always find like some real golden, you know, saying little melody things when you reverse. Um, let's go ahead and go over chopping it. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and just, um, you know what I'm saying, push this back forward. Now you can chop it a couple different ways. You can go in, if you're using a quick sampler, you can just um, type slice or click on the slice option. It'll automatically start chopping up different parts of the beat. So as you can see here, we have our musical typing up. Um, chromatic basically means it's gonna be both keys, black and white. And then, you know, you can choose between chromatic, white, black keys. Let's just choose white keys. Now this sample is going to be listed throughout all of the white keys on the piano. That's one way to uh, obviously chop it. You can mess around with the sensitivity on this. You know, you can do it by beat divisions, equal divisions, or manual. Um, you know, saying if you turn the manual on, it's going to just completely um, take all the little points out. And then you can just use this guy just to click anywhere where you want to start chopping up your samples. Super simple. And so that's starting off at C1. So, you know, you can play around with it like that. I mean, pretty much uh, that's going to be one of the major ways to chop. And then, obviously, you can come in here and then just click in here. And then you can chop it this way as well. So, sometimes you can get, like, some cooler things going when you chop it in the workspace window compared to, like, in a quick sampler. Simply because you can come over here and, like, add little fades and different stuff like that. You can also, like, come in here and, like, move stuff around. So... For instance, this is our sample. I can come over here and just click on these, move them down like that. 
And then, you know what I'm saying, we can like move stuff around. Like maybe move this right here, right here. Mm -hmm. Now we got a whole different chat sample. And then I can come over here, push T, that's gonna bring up your tools, go to fade tool. And then literally you can just kind of put like a little fade on all of these. And then you could just go to slow down. It'll create like this little slow down effect. Boom. And then let's just see how this sounds. So I probably with this particular one would just switch these two around. And you know what I'm saying? And now you pretty much have a whole new sample. You know, so you gotta play around with it. But you know, pretty much those are the three different ways I you know suggest that you flip your samples and everything like that. Man, thank you for watching. Make sure you go ahead and um, subscribe if you're brand new. Make sure your post notifications are on so you know when we're going to post. And then definitely head over to my website, beatmakingbasics.com. What you're going to find on that website is some exclusive uh, courses and content that you're not going to get anywhere else. You can get some full video courses that come with a curriculum. Um, each of the courses have hours of content. You also can get your loop packs there, drum kits there, tip, templates for mixing. Man, you got everything you need right there at BeatMakingBasics.com. Go get it, and I'll see you in the next video. We're out.